Infrastructure is important to everybody. And that infrastructure is supporting our daily lives. It's a huge economic driver for every region in the country that's investing in infrastructure. Americans spent 6.9 billion hours delayed in traffic. That's 42 hours per driver. Over 9% of the nation's bridges are structurally deficient, meaning they require repair and more frequent inspection. The work that should be performed on site to either construct, maintain, rehabilitate, or replace a bridge generates several issues. Among them, mobility and safety are the most concerning. The goals of accelerated bridge construction, also known as ABC, are threefold. Number one, is to improve constructability. Number two is to significantly reduce the total time to deliver the project. And number three is to significantly increase the safety around work zones of the traffic and the construction personnel. This is done by minimizing the amount of time that work zones remain active. In ABC, the bridge itself is actually built nearby in an off-site location away from traffic, and then slowly it is moved into its final location. ABC is a vital project delivery mechanism that is needed to continue renewing our infrastructure on a flash track basis. A response to the synchro challenge revolves around the reconstruction of the State Route 299 over the Interstate I-24 in Georgia, uh, which is a bridge reconstructed using the ABC process. We use synchro to visualize the construction of an ABC project with the purpose of showing how first ABC as an emerging and innovative approach minimizes traffic disruptions while assuring safety conditions to the public travelers and project workers, and second, how a better management of traffic and safety can be performed during the construction of a project by using a forty software such as it. One of the biggest challenges we had to develop the construction sequence for this ABC project was to recreate the actual scenarios of the project. Neither the Georgia Department of Transportation nor the construction company for this project developed the 3D models for these bridges. However, we were provided with all the technical information we prepared from the Georgia Department of Transportation and the information we gathered on the field when the bridge replacement occurred. Therefore, we had to develop the 3D model ourselves from scratch. We use Autodesk InfraWorks not only to develop the construction site for the project, but also with the technical information we have, we developed design versions for the old and new structures in order to be able to mimic the bridge replacement conditions and have all the information available to work in synchro. In addition to the lack of 3D models, we didn't have information about the project sketches, so we used Primavera PCs to create our baseline sketch. First, we identified the essential activities of the project using the time-lapse video published by GDOT. This process was easier since we had the opportunity to visit the construction site during the weekend that the bridge was replaced. Then, we estimated the duration of each activity based on our knowledge and experience, keeping in mind that the planned duration of the project was 56 hours. Then, we imported this PC schedule into Synchro and then we added additional activities that we needed in order to assign the resources to each activity. The Synchro model allows us to visualize the construction sequence and the management of traffic and safety simultaneously. Also, we were able to evaluate how visualizing the construction sequence with Synchro will perform if this will happen during the planning stages of the project. We also were able to evaluate how potential issues, mainly in terms of traffic and safety, and compare them with the actual problems faced during the construction of the project.